Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica, and today we're going to be doing some awesome DIY Christmas room decorations, and hopefully this video will help you guys get in the Christmas spirit, and yeah, I think it's like two weeks, two or three weeks until Christmas, let me check. Let's see. Okay, we have two weeks and five days till Christmas, 458 hours, 27,494 minutes, 1,649,679.78 seconds, counting down, and 2,199,000 556 seconds counting down. Oh, I'm sorry, not seconds, heartbeats counting down. I may or may not have an app that tells me the weeks, hours, minutes, seconds, and heartbeats until Christmas. But don't tell me. I actually do have an app. It's called Christmas Countdown. I may or may not be obsessed. And 19 days. But I think I already said that. <laughs> but yeah. So I don't know why I had to share that. I just wanted to know how many weeks are till Christmas because this video is kind of late. But not really, I guess. I don't know. There will probably be more holiday videos coming at y'all. So see you later. Or like in like two seconds, really. <laughs> Alright guys, so for the first DIY you're going to need some ornaments. You can just get these at the dollar store or Target or really any place. They probably sell ornaments now because it's in season. And you're going to need like a glass vase. And then some like fairy lights or Christmas lights. Fairy lights are so much easier because you don't have to plug them in. So the first thing you want to do is just put your lights in. And don't put all of them in, just like a little bit. And then start to put the ornaments in. And then kind of thread more lights in as you put more ornaments in so that it's kind of graduated in. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know what I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas This next one is super easy. All you have to do is hang ornaments from your ceiling. You can use like push pins or command hooks or anything. That's it. Next one is a little complicated, but I know you guys can do it. Okay, so what you're going to need for this next DIY is just some popsicle sticks, some tape. You're also going to need some chalkboard paint, which you can get at any craft store. You're going to need a paintbrush, some twine, and I know I didn't put this in the video, but you're going to need some scissors or an X-Acto knife. And you're also going to need some tracing paper. So first you're going to take your tape, twine, and popsicle sticks and you just want to kind of lay out your popsicle sticks to how you want them but also make sure that the picture you want to put on there will fit on there, won't, like nothing will be hanging off the side or anything like that. Once you've done that you can take your twine and you kind of want to put it like a loop so that you'll be able to hang it up on your wall. It's pretty simple and after that you can just tape it on and yeah, so while you're taping it, make sure that you have all the popsicle sticks are in the right order of how you like them. Of course, they don't have to be perfect, but as you can see, I taped the string and the popsicle sticks together. So, yeah. So now I am looking up reindeer face and antlers PNG, and then I went into images, and I just scrolled down until I found... The perfect reindeer picture for me and you can even put whatever picture you want on it but after that you just want to print it and make sure you size it so that again it fits on your popsicle sticks and yep. So I know this is a different picture but I just kept scrolling on the reindeer face and antlers PNG and I found that one and I thought that was a little better than the other one. So then you just want to take your tracing paper and trace that out of the picture that you printed. And then you want to take your X-Acto knife or scissors. Um, X-Acto knife was, sorry, scissors was kind of hard so I used the X-Acto knife. 
I thought that it was easier and kind of more detailed so I could get the antlers out right. But once you take that out or um, cut it out, just put it on top of your popsicle sticks. And then you want to trace that onto the popsicle stick and then you can just fill it in with your chalkboard paint or whatever color you want to use. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Santa, tell me.